preparation for Atlanta. Australia looked out of sorts early. Italy's transition superb as they jumped to a 13-point break. But Shane Hill kept the boomers in touch. He takes off again and lands it. Claudio Coldwella was on target as the visitors led 47-43 at half time. After the break, the boomers came out looking more aggressive. Tony Ronaldson with the three-pointer. Way downtown. With eight minutes remaining, the boomers leveled at 67 all. Then the sensation with the scores locked 71 apiece. Coldwella was double tech fouled and ejected from the game. The incident leading to a threatened walk-off by the visitors. The Italians are sitting down. We have drama at the State Sports Centre. We can be like that today. Well, Aussie well, coach Barry well, Barnes turned peacemaker, but after a five-minute delay, Shane Hill's four shots from the line gave the Boomers the lead for the first time since the opening basket. They jumped six ahead before Ambrosa squared it up again with two three-pointers. But the Aussies kicking away again to finish 10-point victors. I think really that was mainly for show. I don't really think they were that serious. You know, and typical Italians, over-emotional. The AFL isn't the only sporting body having trouble with struggling teams. The National Basketball League today officially announced the end of the Hobart Devils. The side will be propped up until the end of the season, but will then have to hand back their licence. Their future has been hanging in the balance for some time now, but the odds are stacked against the Devils surviving past the 96th season. The NBL has voted to support the Tassie Devils until the end of this year, but they have to hand in their licence after that. And if they want to re-enter the competition, they have to put forward a compelling financial argument with a long-term strategy. We're not interested in a proposal that says that we can survive for a year and, and, and make a small loss or a small profit. The league says to have the Devils back in 1997 is an almost insurmountable task. Beyond that, it says the Devils will have to put in proposals for re-entry on an annual basis. It's not impossible, but it's certainly going to be difficult to mount that compelling business case that, that professional basketball can work in Hobart. But the Tassie Devils say they're not going to let the odds beat them. They say they'll be fighting on. Now we've won the first battle, now we go to war because obviously it is the strong intent and the strong commitment by the Devils board and all its supporters to ensure that we can put up a compelling financial case to the NBL. Team management has again urged the state government to take a more active role in the team's survival and they say the players are committed to playing beyond 1996 as well. The only thing they can do is win and they did that on Saturday night. So they're doing everything they can uh, to assist us. Any decision to reissue the Devils with a licence would require the of the NBL clubs.